we asked people whether they thought that was a good idea. Should we sell uh, Kiwi State Houses to an Australian organisation? Well, 75% of the people polled said, no, don't do it. And 21% said, yes, it's OK if you sell them to the Australians. So let's go to our panel now. What do you make of that result, Bernard? The other thing, which wasn't in that graphic, which I should say, is that 60% of national voters said, no, don't sell to Australian. Yeah, that's a surprisingly high, high number, um, given that many state houses are being regularly sold business as usual, and many of those buyers are from overseas or, or locals. Um, there's quite a... Uh, a, a, a number of Australian rental property investors who come to buy in provincial areas like Rotorua. Yeah, so what's the difference between an organisation and an individual? Yeah, exactly. Political hot potato, clearly, even for na with national zone yeah, supporters. Yeah, unfortunate timing, I think, given how the New Zealand public feel about selling um, parcels of land to the Chinese, now selling uh, Auckland property to the Chinese. It just seems like another, another lump sum, a, 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 a big bundle of asset going off to foreign owners. Yeah, Jacqueline, what do you make of it? I agree with not selling it, but then the question is, who is actually going to provide what is needed? And that means readjusting our current budget, putting money into the state housing as opposed to other areas.